Michael, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you. Those of you who are on, thank you for logging in, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a treat to see this. So thank you so much, Michael. All right. Well, thanks, Allison. Um, again, my name is uh, Michael Myers, project manager with Fannie Howie Associates. And for the last year and a half, we've been working with the district administration and staff in developing the plans for the new PK-12 school facility. And we wanted to take a moment to kind of show you the progress that's been made. So I'm going to uh, share my screen here. And hopefully everyone can see. I thought we'd start off with uh, number one, uh, just kind of taking a quick look at the overview of the new site plan for the school facility. And what we have is in this area over here where it says practice field, that is actually where the existing high school currently sits. Uh, of course, that, that building will be demolished once the new building is completed and open. Uh, this is the existing parking lot area here where you see the mouse moving around. And then of course, to the right of that, we have the brand new PK-12 school facility. That building's gonna be about 225,000 square feet. So in comparison to your existing high school, which is just a little over 70,000 square feet, this new building's about three times the size of the existing high school. And of course, it'll house now all the students in the district. We also then have an additional parking lot over here for uh, high school parking as well as event parking. And then we have a new football stadium over here because we're displacing the existing football stadium. Right now where this portion of the building where you see the mouse moving is, that's roughly exactly where the uh, existing football stadium is. And then down here in this area is where the existing baseball field is. And I think you've all seen the construction activities already ongoing out there, taking those uh, facilities out to make room for the new building. So in addition to the new football stadium, there'll be a field house, which uh, has locker rooms and restrooms uh, that support the stadium. There'll be a new practice field over here, uh, a little further down the hill, and a new competition baseball field. We've also included in the site planning room for three additional uh, ball fields to be added down the, down the road as money becomes available. So just for references, I'm sure all of you know, the, 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 the building currently sits on top of a hillside. It's about 80 feet from the back of the building up here close to 1902 down to 2175 here. It's about 80 feet of fall down this hill. So right now this football field sits about 15 feet lower than the parking lot. So as you enter the, the football field, you'll be walking down into the field area. And then the practice field is about another 25 feet lower than the football field. Uh, the baseball fields in this area are roughly 40 feet lower. There's a large hillside here than the building. So you'll walk down the hillside to get to the baseball field. Uh, real quickly, I'll show you uh, our current first floor plan, uh, which has basically a separation of the uh, high school from the elementary side of the building. So the right hand side of the screen here is our elementary side of the building. This is our pre-K through sixth grade. On the first floor, we have kindergarten uh, and pre-kindergarten as, as well as first and second grade. We have our administration area right here in the middle. And then we have our high school side. And on the first floor, this will be seventh and eighth grade classrooms on the first floor with art rooms, district administration offices. That'll be the superintendent's office. We have an elementary gym here in the middle. We have elementary dining. We have our kitchen area. Then we have our high school dining up here. And then we have our main high school gym, new auditorium, and then our high school band areas, and an auxiliary gym here in the back of the building. 
We have our high school locker rooms with varsity and team locker rooms up here. We have a new weight room at the back. We have a new VOAG classroom with wood shop and machine shop. And then we have middle school locker rooms over here along with a, a main mechanical room for the building. On the second floor of the building, again to the right hand side, we have third and fourth grade academic classroom areas. We have fifth and sixth grade academic classroom areas here. On the left hand side, we have our nine through 12th grade classrooms all throughout this second floor area. So academic classrooms over here, science rooms are located over here in a life skills lab. In the middle, we have an innovation center, which is, contains our high school media center, as well as maker space and gifted studios that support students throughout the building. And then in the back of the building on the second floor, there is also a wrestling practice room. So let me uh, real quickly take you then to our 3D model, because as we do all our design work now, we design the building using 3D software to help us visualize and help the client visualize the building design, but also to help us do coordination of the overall building design. So what you're seeing right here is the intersection uh, right out in front of the school on 1902. The open lawn area you see up in here is where the existing high school sits and this is the existing parking lot. As you'll see now, we come in closer uh, following 1902, you'll see the front entrance of the new PK-12. We'll come into the main driveway here. So there will be an entry on the right hand side of the building for grades PK-6 and an entry on the left hand side of the building for grades 7 through 12. This front entry uh, will primarily be for parent drop off and visitor access to the right hand side of the building as we walk around the building. You'll see the exterior of the elementary academic wings. The building is made with uh, brick veneer as well as some CMU colored block veneer and then sloping metal roof. In the back here is a playground area. So you see some of the playground equipment. Looking now here to the to the left is the end of the uh, academic areas for first, second, and third, fourth. To the right is kindergarten on the first floor and fifth and sixth on the second floor. We have a little elementary courtyard area here that uh, is, will be inside a fenced area so students can come out and use this area from the, the dining commons and go to the playground. What you're seeing here is kind of the mechanical room portion of the building and I'll caution everybody, you'll, as we go through this, this is a work in progress. So you're, you will see things in here that are uh, still being fixed and corrected. For instance, uh, that piece of equipment floating two feet off the ground, we'll, we'll be getting that fixed. But uh, we're not showing colors or texture necessarily on the interior of the building. This really just helps us visualize and coordinate the outside of the building and the building material. What you're seeing here is some metal paneling, and this will be the VOAG area of the building. To the right, you're seeing the new weight room area. And again, you'll be overlooking the hillside, the athletic fields, and the field house down the way. This is the new auxiliary gym. The auxiliary gym also has a separate entry that may allow for some community use of that gym. Here you're seeing the new band and music rooms as well as a new scene shop. This is will be the event entry for the auditorium and for the gymnasiums. 
There's also a separate entry for the district administration or the superintendent's office. And then to the right, you're seeing the seventh and eighth grade and the high school classrooms. Now we're coming back around to the front of the building towards 1902 again. And we'll just go into the building here at this point. So this is the main entry. Visitors will be buzzed into the administration area where the receptionist has a clear line of sight of anybody coming into the building. Then we go into the main body of the building to the right here, we have a new guidance area for the students. To the left, we have the seventh and eighth grade classrooms. On the seventh and eighth grade side of the building, we have individual student restrooms and staff restrooms instead of group restrooms. This is the stairwell up to the second floor. This would be a project lab, whoops, project lab for the uh, seventh and eighth grade. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. There's another project lab across the way. More small group rooms for uh, tutoring and project teachers, lock student lockers, a teacher workroom for staff to prepare lesson plans and work. And then we get into the actual seventh and eighth grade classrooms. And they had their classrooms on either side of an open extended learning area that students can use during the day to go out and work on projects. Inside of the typical classroom, again, we'll be working on chair and furniture selections later in the project, but you can see the typical layout. We have a teaching wall with marker boards. Behind those marker boards will be an interactive television. There are doors that connect to adjacent classrooms. And as you can see, classrooms all have a great view line out to the extended learning area. At the end of each academic wing is a large window area that allow for a lot of daylight into these spaces. We'll go up the stairs, again, some pipes where they shouldn't be there. So <laughs> um, this is the 912 classroom area, very similar to, uh, to what you saw below in that classrooms are surrounding an extended learning area. We come down here to, again, individual student restrooms and staff restrooms, small group support classroom, more classrooms here. These, I believe, are intended to uh, become perhaps some of the math suites with a small extended learning area here for students to come out and work on projects in this open area more student restrooms, the stair downstairs. To the right here is a new life skills lab. So you can see new kitchenettes in this area. We come back here, this is the science area. So we have three new science rooms. We'll go into, this is a new chemistry room. You can see some boxes hanging down from the ceiling. Those are electric cord reels for student access. Another science room, I believe this one is the intended biology room. And then back out into the corridor and we'll go downstairs. Take a little shortcut there. New uh, high school art room. Outside door access. And then this is the uh, district administration or the superintendent's office with its own outside access. And now we'll head back to some of the other features of the building. To the right is the elementary gym, but those doors are secured during the daytime to create a separation between high school and elementary. 
This is also the elementary dining commons, and that's also separated. This is a new concession area. Now we're into the student dining area. And this is also the event entry. Large open space, nice ceiling, variety of seating. Uh, through those uh, doors right here will be the serving line for the kitchen. Display cases. And then we're coming towards the main gymnasium. So this is the new gym. That's the visitor side seating that we're looking at there. We don't show right now all the graphics and the colors again that we'll have. So this just shows the basic layout of the space, the home side seating. We'll go back to the dining commons. We also have a new auditorium. So there's seating in here, roughly 570 seats, I believe right now, new stage. Control room in the back. And then as we go to the right here, this will be new music area for high school. So we have a choir room. There's a practice room and a music instructor's office as well. A little further down the hall, we have the new band room. And continuing down the hall, we have a new scene shop uh, to support the theater program. And that's directly across from this coiling door, which can open into the stage so scenery can be moved around. You also see there's a lighting catwalk and a spiral stair access up to that lighting catwalk. In the back here, we have a new auxiliary gym this will also serve as a tornado shelter. So the walls and the roof of this structure have been designed to withstand 250 mile an hour winds. So this will be an additional gymnasium for student and community use. Now we're walking in the corridor, which is behind the stage and behind the uh, main gymnasium. So these are the doors that lead into that gym, kind of the backside of the gym. And this will also be where the student locker rooms are. So we have the entrance here. We have uh, boys and girls locker rooms on both sides. We have general PE locker rooms with restrooms and showers. We have an office space for coaches. And then further down that corridor, we have the team locker rooms. So again, we have a team locker room space with supporting restrooms and showers. And then right here at the end of the hall, we have a new weight room, which has a nice uh, overlook out on the athletic field, the field house and the baseball field. Up the stairs is a new Way, uh, wrestling practice room. And then we go back down this back stairway. And we have a new VOAG. So we have display cases for VOAG, some classrooms on the left and right hand side. Right now you're in the uh, wood shop area with mezzanine for storage space. Go underneath here and we're into the Machine shop area with mezzanine, again, for storage space, new welding booths and various equipment. BOAG classroom. Again, there's two of those, one on each side. Very similar to the other classrooms. And we'll walk quickly down the hall.
to the left here is middle school locker rooms. Right now we're kind of at the back side of the dining commons. And we're going to enter into the elementary side through these doors. And this will be the corridor the elementary students use to go primarily out to the playground and to their dining area. So this is the elementary dining with a nice floating ceiling. We also have some architectural features here showing uh, you know, what eventually is going to be the high school and the, the existing middle school and the existing elementary school facades on the walls. And then we come towards the elementary entry. Very similar to the high school entry side. When you come in these entries, if you look up, it's actually a clear story that you can see to the, the uh, second floor above here, both on this side and the high school side. And I'll come back to that in a moment. There are two elevators, one on each side for access up to the second floor. Elementary Media Center, kindergarten academic areas, very similar to all the other academic areas little larger rooms, uh, and then they also have cubbies in the classroom for the kindergarten kids. Stairway up to the second floor. First and second grade academic wings, they have group restrooms for the students. Again, same general classroom configuration, but with cubbies inside of the classrooms. There's a stairway to go up to the second floor here. This would be third and fourth grade, similar to the layout below. And then as we round the corner, fifth and sixth grade will be on the right. Very similar to the other academic wings. And then we come to the Innovation Center. Uh, from this side, we have some student, or I'm sorry, some teacher support rooms. And then we have that balcony looking down to the elementary entry. We have a gifted studio on the right hand side here. And then we have what is really the uh, High school, middle school, media center, large open space, conference room. There's also a maker space lab with glass garage door for students to work on projects and open this up to the media center area, exposed ceilings, and some small project group areas that are closed in for a little more uh, quiet environment. And again, you can see down to the high school entry here. So this should be a really nice, vibrant open space for the high school media center. So that is a quick walkthrough of the new PK-12 building. And I'll just real quickly walk around the outside and then kind of show you that great elevation difference down to the football field. We're not showing all the stadium bleachers and things yet. Uh, that's still a work in progress. So. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this uh, tour and presentation of the new building. Hopefully I didn't go too fast or make anybody dizzy. So. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Michael. Not a problem. Thanks, guys.